Okay guys, welcome to the new one. Uh, today we're gonna talk about how to set your exposure manually. So this is the key if you want to have good video quality or picture quality. The first thing you have to do is to switch your shooting to video for this instance. And if you want to shoot photos, you will shoot in manual for Sony. But uh, for other cameras, other brands, uh, this will be the typical for the video and the photos. So I will turn to the video and we are set to go. Uh, we're going to talk about three basic things you need to know if you are first time uh, having the camera in your hands. The first thing you need to know is the shutter speed, which is here on the left side. For the video, we're going to talk just about video today. For the video, the rule states, if you are shooting in 24 frames per second, you will put your shutter speed at 50. It's the double the frame rate of which you are shooting in. It would be 48, but the closest one we got, it's 50. Most of the cameras will have 50. If you are shooting in 30 frames per second, you will obviously put it at 60. If you are shooting in 120 frames per second, you will put it at 250 because that's the closest one to 240. For the pictures, you can go a lot higher if you are shooting any kind of action. So you don't have uh, as much motion blur as you would get with the slower shutter speed. And that's it for the shutter speed. Next one, we move on the f-stop. It's the basically natural light you can get from your lens. The lowest number depends on the lens you have. So for me, this is the 1.4. If you have, let's say, 20, uh, 2.8 lens, this is the lowest you can go. If you have, let's say, 3.5 lens, that will be the lowest point you can go. Keep it on the lower end. If you want to be a little bit sharp, look at the sweet spot. You can find it on online. So sweet spot will give you the sharpest image. If you go all the way down, like I am here, you will get a little bit softer image, but that is not my concern since this lens, it's pretty sharp already. And the third thing, it's the ISO here on the right side. This is the feature you will use most. Basically, you want to put it at native, so it means you will want to go as low as possible, depending on the situation. Obviously, if you are shooting in low light situations, uh, you will have to go higher. The higher you go, you will get more noise. So, also depends on the camera and the sensor, how much noise you will get. In these new cameras, the sensors, especially at Sony, are very good at low light situations. There's no rule with ISO. Look around, play, look at the different values and uh, decide what suits best your needs. That's it for the ISO. Keep it low as possible and you will have a perfect manual exposure in a time. That depends on how much you practice. So the best advice I can give you is to practice a lot and uh, to get used to the monitor you have on the, your camera. The image you will get from the monitor on your camera will not look the same on your computer. So practice, practice, practice. Guys, that's it for this one. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a like. If you find it helpful, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. And that's pretty much it for this one. See you in the next one. Uh, good luck with your exposure.